Hey everybody, what's going on? Happy Wesley Wednesday to you. So the message today is do not be silent. When you're hurting, it is perfectly fine to say ouch or to tell someone that, hey, this is hurting. Unfortunately, we are socialized, especially in the workplace, to remain silent. Um, silence is not always a form, however, of consent. So what happens when we are working in institutions and organizations where we are challenged to encourage others to use their voices, but we take the route of being silenced or to be silent when something is hurting and or causing harm? Now, some might say one needs to develop thick skin or that uh, let things roll like water off of a duck's back. Well, beloved, we are human beings. We are not ducks. <laughs> While we can gain strength through our experiences, a beating is still a beating. Abuse is still abuse. Pain is still pain. So I would encourage you today to really consider how you are being silent, why you are being silent, and if it is hurting you, harming you, secretly killing you, beloved, healing is an option for you. And healing on this side, that's what I mean, because for those who might be faith believers, you know, they believe that once we pass from these earthly vessels, once our souls depart this earthly vessel, that we are eternally healed. But we can be healed over here while we are still living. We do not have to suffer in silence. We do not have to suffer in pain, but we should encourage people to use their voices, even if that's you, even if you know somebody who's dealing with something, encourage them to use their voice and to speak up and to speak out. Because there is a song that says, reach out and touch somebody's hand, make this world a better place if you can. So look, reach out. Touch somebody's hand. Help them understand that this world can be better. We are living in interesting times, you know, where there's humanity, there's always interest <laughs> in the multiple ways in which that shows up. But look, y'all, life is hard. You do not have to do life alone. You do not have to suffer in silence. There is help for you. There is restoration for you. There is healing for you. But we won't know unless you open up your mouth and speak out, right? So until next time, I'm Reverend Dr. Jonathan Wesley. I love you to life and life more abundantly. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. Take care.